And boy, is this the week juror <laughs> 17 Uh-oh. thing blowing yeah, up. Yeah, you want to talk? Let's discuss this. Oh, wow. I got to tell you. So we, we uh, confirmed uh, earlier today that juror 17's first husband uh, was prosecuted by Juan Martinez. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I just talk, got off the phone with Jennifer Wilmot, the uh, second chair defense attorney for Jody Arias. Right. And the quote she gave me for publication, what are you eating, by the way? Uh, it, it was a good. couscous salad from uh, Trader Joe's, okay. but uh, I've been on here so long I haven't finished okay, it. Okay, good. Uh, the quote she gave me was, we all knew that, and she didn't call her Juror 17's, but we all knew that Juror 17's husband, first husband, had a past. If Juan didn't check it out, it's his fault. That's his fault. And I just tweeted that out as well. So that's uh, um, what's going that's what on she with said. that. Yes, yeah, what she's going on with that. Uh, I do know that the uh, courthouse, I was over there earlier, um, they are all abuzz with the investigation of uh, looking into who leaked the juror names. Right. I was told by somebody um, who has knowledge of this. That, well, first of all, I showed them the list of names that I saw on Jody Arias is Innocent.com. Right. And uh, they have uh, all the names listed, but they had the middle names. So when I showed the court workers that, they said, well, that's odd. I said, well, why is that odd? They said, that looks like an official list. That, like on a court document. Yes. It was given to only a few people in the courtroom. They say there are only six copies generally given to, the, to anybody in the courtroom. Right. Judge, a couple of assistants, the court uh, reporter, and then both the... Uh, prosecution and defense so there's really only six copies of that list that go out at any one time so for that whole list to go out with the middle names is very uh, suspicious and highly unusual so everybody's being looked into for this so the whole court is saying wondering who did it Mm -hmm. who leaked what when and uh, you know as, as we've pointed out a few times not cool to whoever did that right absolutely not I mean it is turned into just insanity the fact that there needs to be law enforcement protect and threats and uh okay so, so the now question this they is, had asked is does she get to physically touch people now yes, that she has life and i'm looking at it now so remember there are three different steps for max custody uh, and she'll be in step one for 30 days non-contact visits now this is with perfect behavior okay no problems that she has because then then everything changes mm-hmm. but with perfect behavior after 60 days uh no contact visits after 90 days she gets contact visits so 100 wow, na- so a- no no i'm sorry hold on a second after hold on okay after one after six months in step three so that would be eight months after she's in mm-hmm. with perfect behavior right she would get um four hour blocks uh, contact visits and be able to use the vending machines. What do you mean by perfect uh, conduct? Well, I mean, in jail. I mean, like, like what, what would it constitute doing something wrong? Uh, s- screaming at a guard, at a corrections okay. officer, spitting at somebody, okay. uh, not showering. The likelihood um, that she does any of that? Who knows? Okay. With Jody, I'm not going to try to predict her behavior. I think at this point, as we know, but um, uh, you know, uh, if, if she behaves. Okay. Uh, and so it'd be eight months. All right, everyone's saying hello to you. Uh, will hello. Jo- will Jody ever get a cellmate? I hope yes. not. Yes, uh, she gets a cellmate after two years of being in Max. She goes down to something called close custody, which is basically the almost the exact same conditions, uh, a few more benefits that she gets, and she gets a cellmate. So her situation is far better now than if she had gotten the death penalty, no question. Yes. If she would have gotten the death penalty, she would have been in step one of Max. By the way, I think they just tweeted about you if you want to sh- uh, retweet it. Who did? Uh, Fox News. Fox 10. Oh, I don't want to do that because oh, John's oh, expecting me on his show right. literally in like five minutes. It's so. okay. They'll see. Um, um, hey, Troy, what did you and Jody talk about before coming out of the room and down the hall? Uh, I walked up to her and I said, uh, are you happy with the verdict? And she kind of went, well, and I said, well, why, why are you acting like that? And she said, um, I'm kind of sad that some people didn't get the verdict they wanted. And then she said, you better not, you don't have a camera with you, do you? And I said, yeah, actually I do. And I came out here to tell you that. As soon as we get around this corner, you're going to be on camera. And she's like, uh, I don't know. And I said, well, you know, this is going to be your last chance. I said, uh, the sheriff has said nobody else is going to get to you. And once you get to um, uh, DOC, there are no cameras. Right. So I said, I'm going to ask you if you want to make a statement. And, and right as I was saying that, my executive producer came around the corner and had his um, his camera, camera. A phone. 
And uh, when he went to take a picture, she went like, oh, no, is what she said. Wow. I, I couldn't figure out. We were talking about it. Did she yeah. say, oh, hell no, or oh, no? And everything changed. Mm, her and, like, whole uh, demeanor. Oh, yeah. She said, I want my attorneys. I want my attorneys. And she looked at the, with the PIO I was with, and the PIO kind of shrugged like, well, no, we're no attorneys down here. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, she had slowed down. I went around the corner and that's when the video picks up when you hear me say right. she's freaking out yeah she's i just out. replayed that i just played your story of her uh cell so they've all been caught up uh, okay. someone else asked uh troy have you ever talked now have you ever now spoken about the way jody tried to manipulate you you did say you would talk about it after the verdict. yeah and let me think well uh, yeah i'll talk about it now so um right before and you know you can say that every contact that i've had with her has been her trying to control some of my actions okay so just before um this trial started I get a contact from somebody who I won't out, but it's a liaison who uh, talks to Jody quite frequently. Okay. And that person said, um, can you uh, be down at the, uh, at the jail? Jody would like to see you. And I was like, oh, that's odd. I said, well, like when? They said, well, visiting hours are Sunday night. And so... Uh, I went down there, and um, she uh, went into a room, and it's a long story. We talked for a little while, but the whole reason she wanted me down there was she didn't want me to cover a story that she thought I was covering about some fundraising. She has all these tentacles out everywhere, raising money for her and all this stuff, and, uh, and I wasn't even depending on doing the story I have no idea why she even thought because right. at that point I was like I'm not doing stories on Jody fundraising and different Jody groups trying to raise funds for each other so uh, that was it I mean, that was it she, she called me down to the jail to try to get me to kill a story that I wasn't even covering so I know people have been asking that forever and then maybe that's not a huge deal but is that does that satisfy you guys it'll give them 30 seconds yeah no so I mean that you know but I mean I've got letters from Jody uh, I've got Voicemails. You know, was that voice the letter? Voicemails. Yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't want to what? go into that. No. Can you even read one line? No. Okay. <laughs> I won't push Maybe you. another another time. Another let me look. Week. Let me look at all the correspondence. Uh, You've had stuff. a long week. I have. I'm tired. <laughs> a couple of weeks. You know what's crazy is it, they asked me if I wanted to do a morning shot this morning for our morning show. So the 7 o'clock producer, Arizona time, she's last night. She said, can you be on our show? I said, no, nah, 7 is too early. I've been working. You know, I don't get home until after 11 right. every night. I said, this is too early. Uh, and then the 8 o'clock producer said, would you do one for mine? About 8.15. I said, okay, I can do 8.15. It gives me a little more time to sleep. And that's, they just came to like your neighborhood? They came to my house. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I was like, that's so a the doorbell, yeah, the doorbell rings. Ding dong. At like 6.30, I'm like, what the heck is this? Oh, you know, what's no. going on? I said, it's the only time in the history of our morning show that a live truck showed up an hour and 45 minutes before a live shot. And wow. it's at my house, <laughs> ringing the doorbell. Dog's going crazy. Here. Kids are walking out of the room. Dad, like, who's here? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh, by the way, people are asking if there's any news uh, from the Alexander is hoping they're okay. Have you heard from them at all ever no. since what we saw yesterday? No. Nobody's seen them. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they went home. And they're also asking a lot. There's a lot of speculation when she kind of hid, uh, opened up behind the envelope down that hall. Was she smiling behind the envelope? You know, I, I have people have pointed that out and said that she was. And when you freeze the video and look at it, it looks like she was. I don't remember at that time seeing her smile. She certainly wasn't smiling at me. She seemed very upset. And uh, when she turned the corner, she was really upset. I know she was because. I talked to some of the guards afterwards, and they're like, oh, yeah, nice job. We had to deal with her the rest of the day after you made her so angry. Well, you know what? I mean, she didn't get the death penalty. She can't be that upset. She should be happy yeah, about that. Yeah, I mean, let's right. be real. You can be mad at Troy all you want, but calm down. Uh, I should write a book you're, you're on Jody Harris. You know what I thought about that's doing? That's actually good. No, I thought about writing, like, an article for because I love, uh, like, Men's Journal and, oh, yeah. and Vanity Fair and GQ, and I thought about that. That's but really cool. I don't you think still... it would be that interesting. What are you talking about? I don't think it'd be that interesting. You don't know that until you write it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I've, write I've, it. Show I've, a couple people. I've taken a lot of notes, and I have a correspondence and all kinds of things, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to give her any more attention, to be honest with you. I'd like That's to true. stop talking about her. That's true. I think everyone else her. would rather this be called the Travis Alexander yeah. murder trial rather than the Jody Arias trial. Yeah. A lot of them were saying earlier. But, uh, all right. Well, that's it. All right. I'm Thanks out of here. Yep.